It is indeed an honor tonight to be here to introduce probably one of the more legendary players in UMBC soccer history. The word legend is often used nowadays, also the term GOAT, the greatest of all time. But for this player, Levi Wapu, for me, the legend started when he first got here. He was a very good player. He was well known throughout the state. He was an all-state player from Watkins Mill High School. We were really happy when he committed to come to UMBC. But his growth during the time at UMBC was incredible. Well, during his tenure here, Levy became an all-conference player. He was an All-American. He was player of the year. He was a leading scorer in the country. I mean, that's just a little bit of what he did here. He also was the captain, and he was a leader, and he led by example. To come up here and talk about Levy for three minutes is nearly impossible for me. I could stand here and talk about him all day long. Personally, I enjoyed my conversations with Levy in the office. He would come up, and we would talk soccer. We would talk about life. We would talk about his family. We would talk about every topic there was. And I watched Levy grow as a player and as a person. And until this day, we still have conversations, and he still talks about UMBC and how we're doing, and he supports us. Today, he's living out in California with his lovely wife and newborn child. And I cannot tell you how proud I am of his accomplishments on and off the field. But really about Levy here while he was here was the character of the person. As a leader, he set the example for the players. As a leader, when he spoke, people listened. He wasn't that talkative on the field, but off the field, when it was time to speak, he spoke one with his play, and he spoke by being in the locker room and always pulling the team together. The most memorable time for me was when he came in the office after his junior year, and we talked about getting the ring for his senior year. And one of the games we had lost up in Binghamton, and we were about to play Binghamton the following week and had to go back up there. And Levy brought the team in, in the locker room, and he was very vocal, very emotional, and he talked about how we were going to come back the next week and win. And not only did we do it, it was a credit to him by how he set the example on the field and how well he played. When he got drafted by the Philadelphia Union, he became the first player from UMBC to ever get drafted in the MLS. And we took, all took great pride in watching Levy get signed by Philadelphia and play in some games. For me, he could still be playing. For me, he could be one of the best players in the MLS. But when you're doing as well as he is, in the job market right now and raising a family, that's probably the most important thing in life. It is indeed an honor today to welcome the newest member of the UMBC Soccer Hall of Fame, the legendary Levy Wapu. Oh shoot, I didn't think I was gonna cry, but um, <laughs> um, I am honored and blessed to be here tonight. I just wanna say a big thank you to UMBC for um, taking a chance on me, for allowing me to attend this great school, to, I was um, looking for a platform to play. UMBC gave me that. I was looking for a, a better future. You gave me a degree. I came here by myself. You gave me a whole bunch of brothers. I will be forever grateful. I know this is an individual award, but um, I'm not a big fan of it because I play soccer and I play team sport, and I couldn't I couldn't have done it without the the group of guys that I played with over the four years here at UMBC. I got a chance to share and be captain with Chris William and JP. Please allow me 30 seconds to speak about them. Um, I know this award is for me and with leading the country in goals, but JP and, and Chris William were the unsung heroes of our team. And with me being here for four years, the amount of, the amount of running that would do for me, <laughs> you know, to allow me to be free and, and, and score goals and, and be at my best. Um, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. 
I shake the locker room with great people. Cool, cool, Jamal, Ime, Kingsley, Van Severis. Um, and it's also Coach Adams' fault that I didn't go to school with my best friend, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I also want to thank the coaches, um, Coach Adam, um, for taking a chance on me. Um, you saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. You, know, you could have gone and chose anyone else, but you, but you took a chance on me. And I will forever be, I will forever be grateful. Um, for the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Um, I have so much love for you and respect for you. You taught me how to be, how to stay humble. I used to call you Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Anthony without you knowing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were very tough on me. You kept me, you kept my feet on the ground when I was getting big headed. Um, you're the first person that ever pulled me out of the barber, out of the barber shop chair when I was getting my hair cut and you called me. And I told my barber, I'm sorry, Uncle Anthony's calling. I have to answer this phone <laughs> call. <laughs> um, to Coach Karenji. What else can I say? Thank you for everything. Everything you've done for me. You've been a father figure for me for many years. When my dad is not here and I need someone to talk to, I can always call you. Thank you for believing my talent. Thank you, no one knows, but you used to wake up at 5, 6 a.m. in the morning and you and I would run around D.C. looking for the best immigration attorney that would help me for me to continue to play. You've done it all for me. So I thank you. <laughs> to my family, to my brother, Michael, Joe, who's not here tonight, my dad, my younger sister, who now goes to UMBC, by the way, because of me. Uh, and my wonderful mom, um, thank you for everything. Thank you for loving me, believing in me, pushing me to be better, not on the field, but to be a better person. And um, mom, thank you for all your sacrifice. And you taught me faith. You taught me how to have faith. You taught me how to be a good person. And I will forever be grateful. Um, um, today I'm not playing soccer, but I've gained way more in life than, than I could ever imagine. And Thank you, UMBC. Thank you for everything. Dr. Brown, it was great seeing you tonight. And um, yeah, God bless you all.